Late at night when all the world is sleeping, narcissists are plotting on you. Why? Because they envy you. So now the question that you need to ask yourself is, do you truly understand envy? And that is what we're going to be talking about here in today's video. Hi everyone, Shika here with NART Dojo, where we talk about pathological narcissism, personal development, spirituality, and raising your awareness so that you can identify and navigate relationships with these toxic personality types. Now, it is important that you learn how to discern the spirit of envy. Because envy is covert. So let's go ahead and start off with a quick definition of Envy. Hey Google, give us a simple definition of envy. On the website dictionary.com, they say, a feeling of discontent or covetousness with regard to another's advantages, success, possessions, etc. Synonyms, enviousness. An object of such feeling, her intelligence made her the envy of her classmates. You see, people, if you are dealing with an envious, person understand that envy is covert the envious person will not want you to know that they don't like you and this is why their behavior may be confusing because envious people are going to come very close to you because they are studying you they are plotting they are trying to figure out the best way to take you down so the envious person could come in the form of a intimate partner they are going to pretend to be lovers but they really are an enemy in disguise an envious person could pose as a friend but they really are a frenemy wolf in sheep's clothing and in the case of Selena, people, the envious person is going to come in the form of a great road manager, a supporter, someone that is supposed to help you on your journey. But know that the envious person, just like a snake lying in the grass, really is waiting on the perfect opportunity to strike and bite you. Envious people do not like you. It is of the utmost importance that you understand that. I do not care what title you assign to the envious person. Envy is a spirit that overcomes an individual. And because envy is a spirit, then envy is not physical. So you could be dealing with an envious parent. Your parent could be the one that is envious of you. You could be dealing with an envious intimate partner. Intimate partner is title. Lover is title. But your lover could be overcome with the spirit of envy, which means that that lover does not like you, which means that that lover does not have love to give. They truly are haters. So whether this envious person is your parent, intimate partner, boss, coworker, sister sibling other family member friend etc understand that envious people are waiting for the perfect time to strike and this is why they are covert because they are studying you and oftentimes envy may feel like admiration but it is not positive envy is a negative emotion it is a negative spirit and you will find the energy of envy somewhere between shame and pride. Very negative. Envious people are waiting to take you down. Because envious people see something in you that they want. But because they cannot have it, they believe in their mind that the best thing to do is to take you out. So number one, know that envy is covert. Secondly, Know that envy is irrational. 
Do not try to rationalize the envious person. Envy falls below the line of rational thinking. It is irrational by default. And this is why envious people are so dangerous. They do not have access to common sense. Because if envious people had access to common sense, then they would not be envious people. People understand that when someone gets into an envious state, they have long since passed jealousy. Envy is jealousy metastasized. It is jealousy that got cancerous and it got into a very dangerous state until it became envy. So this tells you that the envious person could not even handle a simpler emotion like jealousy. People envy is irrational. If you find an envious person, understand that they are emotionally immature. They cannot regulate their emotions very well. Because if they could regulate their emotions, then they would have let go of jealousy before it metastasized and became envy. And people understand that at the vibration that envious people operate in the state of envy. People, write this down if you need to. Envy is the precursor to betrayal. Before someone betrays you, they were stewing on their envy. You think you're the only person that ruminates. The envious person ruminates. They sit and they plot. And they try to figure out the best way to take you down. That is why they get close to you. Envious people ruminate. They have a million and one thoughts going through their mind. And they figure out the best thought to enact to bring you down. You're not the only person that ruminates. Understand that these irrational, envious people plot. Envy is jealousy metastasized. And people, envy is the precursor to betrayal and also murder. Envy is what killed Selena. You don't have to do envious people anything. They are irrational. They do not have access to common sense. You get to the area of common sense and logical, rational thinking when you get to the fourth dimension or higher. Envious people are stuck in the third dimension, the second dimension, the first dimension. They are low vibrational beings. It is important that you understand that envy is the precursor to betrayal and even murder because envious people will take you out because they are irrational and if they cannot get your stuff if they cannot get your confidence if they cannot get your talent if they cannot get your gift if they cannot get your genius that you have within they would prefer to kill you than you to be yourself because the envious person wants to be you that is why they mimic you they are a sick fan because envy is a sickness people understand that envy is a sickness a person that is envious it is is in a very sick state a person that is envious is in a very sick state a very dangerous state, a very volatile state, a very contracted state. An envious person will attack you. They're in attack mode. They're in survival mode. It is kill or be killed in the envious person's consciousness. People, it is of the utmost importance that you learn how to discern an envious spirit. Because the envious person is going to come in the form of a friend. But they are a frenemy. They may come in the form of a lover. But they are a hater. Envious people do not like you. It is of the utmost importance that you learn how to discern envy.